Okay, back out in the shop again, looking kind of shaggy from the social distancing, can't get a haircut anywhere, so uh, one of the things that comes up a lot this time of year is what kind of equipment you need to get started. Um, doesn't have to be real elaborate when you're first starting out, just some of the basic things you'll want. Um, obviously, protective equipment. Um, my favorite is the Ultra Breeze. I mean, it come July and August around here, the ventilated suit is indispensable. Um, ProVent from uh, Man Lake isn't bad. Uh, this one I just like a lot better. It's got brass zippers, the elastics in the arms and wrists, or the wrists and the waist seem to be a lot better quality. Um, this one's actually kind of still white a little bit because it's only about a year old, but, uh, <laughs> but yeah, um, if you got the money for it, Definitely, I definitely recommend the Ultra Breeze. Um, you're going to want a good quality smoker. Whether you use it or not, I don't use it on every inspection. I always have it lit, though. Um, there's some days, you know, if you're trying to get bees close, get everything closed back up, the bees just won't get out of the way. A couple puffs of smoke, they'll move right down. Other days, they're mad the second you open the hive, so you're going to want this handy. A lot of people will say, you know, don't use a smoker. They're just wrong. Um, bee brush. Again, don't use it very often. Uh, if you're swapping out frames or something, you got a handful of bees that are being stubborn, won't come off the old frame. A couple quick wipes and knock them off. Again, it's not something you're going to use on every inspection, but it's a handy thing to have. Uh, frame perch. This just hangs right on the side of the box. So you can take your first, you know, two or three frames out, hang it on this on the side of the box. You got moved to, uh, room to move the rest of your frames while you do your inspection. These are great. You don't have to keep your frames on the ground where ants or anything else can get to them. Um, they're worth they're worth the twenty bucks or whatever they are now. Uh, if you're gonna need a hive tool. Uh, this ends for scraping off of your burr comb or whatever. I like, I personally prefer the J-hook style to get up underneath the ends of the frames to separate them to lift. Um, they make others that curl around to the side for doing the same thing. It's just personal preference. You're gonna want several of these around because when you're doing inspections, you're gonna lay it down, you're gonna forget where you put it down and you're gonna spend 15 minutes looking for it. Buy three or four of them, keep them in your bucket and you'll find them the next time you go out and do the inspections. <laughs> Another one not necessary, but comes in handy when you're doing inspections is a frame grabber. Uh, you just reach down, grab the top of the frame, lift it out, lets you hold the frame one-handed while you inspect both sides, easy to manipulate the frame while you're holding it, and lets you keep your other hand free for doing whatever, if you need to grab a queen to marker or whatever. Um, again, not necessary, but handy. And if you're just starting out, um, great book to start with is Beekeeping for Dummies. Uh, fourth edition, the newest edition. Um, it's not gospel, but it's a good point, uh, point of reference to start with. Get you your basic vocabulary and some of the basics that you're going to need to know. Um, we're just getting ramped up here. Season's just now really kicking off for us. We're starting to see dandelions and stuff. So we'll be making a few more videos as we go through the season, do an inspection, and see how the uh, newbies we've got working in our yard, how their hives are coming along. So stay tuned.